Hey, welcome to News You Can Use. I'm your host, BG. And we know there are a lot of people who do not want to get the COVID-19 vaccine. We hear you, loud and clear. But would you take a COVID-19 pill instead? We'll have the details on that. Speaking of COVID, there has been an outbreak at a Toronto school and that school has been shut down. We have some details on that. Plus, an iconic DC character has come out as bisexual. It's making history. We'll get into those details. Plus, an iconic Canadian former retailer is now popping back up on the spot. So before we get into any of any more of that, okay, any more of that, uh, we need to do something. And that's subscribing to this channel, tapping that notification bell, and following across all of our social media. Those details in the description below. And we should also highlight a new member of our team. Look at that smile! <laughs> is that Miss Devin Bamfield? Yes, it is. <laughs> Guys, welcome our newest producer, executive producer, Devin. We are excited to have you. I'm excited to be here, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> now, the audience is going to get to know you over the course of the year and over the next little while. Is there anything you want to share with them right now? One little tidbit of information. General, this is hard. I don't know. Like, I don't like. What, what would I say? Like, when I was at West, I would say, oh, "I'm a Toronto girl." Yeah. But now I'm in Toronto, so yeah. like, um. <laughs> I'm just happy to be back. I just spent the last year in Calgary and I'm super excited to be back in Toronto. Awesome. Who's your favorite artist? Ed Sheeran. Ooh. Ed Sheeran. Yeah. That's a new one. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't heard that in a while. Eva, producer Eva was hoping you were going to say Drake. I was. You know what? No, <laughs> I was. No. I'm a little biased. No, I can't. Uh, I, I can't speak to being a Drake fan. We but, just keep um, bringing Drake haters. I'm sorry. That's I never said that. Yeah. Now I never said that. No, Ed Sheeran, Adele. You know, oh, Adele. Little Mix. I spent too much. I lived in England for two years. Yeah. On and off. So like, I'm really into European music. I okay, think. we I love think, to yeah. hear it. Speaking of which, Adele comes out with her new single. Yes. October fifteenth. What do you think she's gonna call the new album? Thirty. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the news because if you haven't heard, soon you might be able to take a pill to treat COVID-19. Yes, you heard that correct. Merck and Co. Inc., or Merck and Co. Inc., I think I pronounced that correctly, they've created an antiviral pill that you can take at home to reduce COVID-19 symptoms and speed up your recovery. Now, it's really interesting because the company has applied for emergency use authorization for the drug in the U.S., and is waiting for approval from the FDA right now. Now, of course, the drug is on course to becoming the first oral antiviral medication for COVID-19. Assuming FDA authorization, the U.S. has agreed to buy enough of the pills to treat 1.7 million people. This is really interesting because we know that numbers around vaccination rates have been kind of stagnant. Mm -hmm. Do we think that this might help those numbers if it were considered to be fully vaccinated? which I don't think it will, but. Like fully approved? Yeah, in a way. My question is, are anti-vaxxers, those against the vaccine, yeah. willing to take this? Or is the whole idea of treating COVID, you know what I mean? Right, like, right. is this towards those people? Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm wondering, because might as well just take the vaccine then. See, True. I would say it depends on whether they're anti-vaxxers or they're COVID deniers, because somebody who doesn't believe in COVID, period, is gonna take, take something to help with COVID, right? right? But like, somebody who's anti-vax, just because you're anti-vax doesn't mean you're not gonna take like Tylenol or NyQuil or something, right? That's so also very true. Same. The, lots of people won't go get the flu shot, but if they yeah. get the flu, they'll take some NyQuil to help yeah. with their that's, symptoms. That's same true. kind of concept, right? Yeah, I'd love to know from you guys watching right now, I mean, is this something you would potentially take? Or if you know a family per member, a friend who's against COVID or doesn't believe in vaccines, would they take this? Drop your thoughts in the comment section right now. Let's let's hear about it. Let's hear about it. Speaking of COVID, unfortunately, there is an outbreak uh, right here in Toronto, in Etobicoke. Parents are concerned about COVID. And for the first time this school year, Toronto Public Health has shut down a school due to a COVID outbreak. Now, this is, of course, is a big story. It's going down at Silverthorne Collegiate Institute in Etobicoke, who are reporting an outbreak of the virus. Now, I would just love to know before we go any further with the story, this is tough because, I mean, for anybody who's going to school, students, they've been out of school. I know that a lot of them want yeah. to be in school. Mm -hmm. Is there really any further way to protect students? That's what I'm going to say. And you know what? Honestly, like, I'm hearing so many parents want more done. But what do you do? Like, what can schools do 
more of, especially with younger kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, have you ever tried yeah. to get a child to do something? I have nieces between the ages of like two and 16 and it's impossible to get them to do anything they don't yeah. want to do. It's so true. And so like, like, what more are they going to do? Like, okay, we have to wear a mask. Yeah. There are like regulations. Like, what else? Yeah. And I feel like, and that's coming from a family member, like, let alone a teacher who's already like not allowed to put their hands on the children. They're yeah. not allowed to, you know, kind of pass that. So what are teachers expected to do at this point. It's so true. And you know what? This all comes as the University of Saskatchewan. They've actually released new data from a Canada-wide survey that shows many parents are worried about COVID-19 in schools. In fact, according to the results, listen to this, eight in 10 parents want masking and other health restrictions in place in schools right now. In fact, right now, there are more than 20 schools in the GTA reporting COVID outbreaks, but Silverthorne is actually the only school that has moved completely online as a result. Devin, I think you're right. Ev, I think you're right. I don't know what else schools can but really like, do. But like, what's next? Like, we're we just gonna keep like this forever? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, and it's affecting people's learning. Yeah. I mean, as much as some people might like online learning, I think there is, um, there's a benefit in certain circumstances. For sure. I do think it does hinder some students because I think about kids who have to look after their younger siblings. Exactly. Maybe they have, they're from a single parent household. That parent's working too, like, it's a lot. Yeah, it is. Anyhow, uh, shall we change gears and maybe something positive? Yeah. History making, <laughs> switch it up, switch it up, switch it up. Um, so big news for comic book fans. The new Superman comics uh, will have a little more representation. And we love that. Listen to this. John Kent, the new Superman and son of Clark Kent and Lois Lane, has a new love interest. And it's another man. The comic will hit the shelves November 9th and <laughs> see a young Superman fall in love with reporter Jay Nukumara. Did I pronounce that right? And of course it's a reporter. Yeah. Right? Yes. You know, like, like father, like son, yes. first Lois Lane now, yeah. you know. He gets Nakamura. Thank you, B.A. B.A. is corrected. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as you can tell, I'm not the biggest comic fan, but a lot of you are, so this is why we're doing this story. Okay? There you go. So if you're happy about this, like, let us know in the comment section, uh, because this is big news. And I think no matter what it is, everybody deserves to be represented and seen on screen. You know what? DC does a really good job with that, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Robin, like Batman's sidekick, he's gay or bisexual. So, like, I think that's kind of cool that they integrate it like that. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And fans are expressing their excitement too, so congratulations. Uh, can we talk about a bit of nostalgia? Is this good news? Shall we talk about this another good news? good news? Such good news. Oh, let's get into some good news. <laughs> Who remembers the store Zellers? Right? Like, for are me, we, it was a diner. Are we aging ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go back to that diner. They had the best fries. They yes. did. Well, you know what, Zellers, they're now doing pop-up shops. Uh, in fact, one has opened up inside of the Hudson's Bay store in Burlington, at Burlington Center Mall. And for those who are old enough to remember, Zellers was a discounted department store that had hundreds of locations across Canada until they closed in 2013, then came Target, and they failed. We know and how that went. Yeah. Well, that, was, that was, honestly, I would say Target failing was more disappointing than Zellers closing. No. Yeah. I, I would. I would. Zellers yeah. was like, like, Zellers. Like, now if you tell a kid Zellers, I'm like, what's that? Yeah. No, that's think about Zellers compared True. to Target. Target is definitely the, the premium Were you a Target fan? Well, I am Tar a Target fan. Okay. Oh, yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> well, listen to this. According to a Hudson's Bay representative, the pop-up is meant to delight our customers with a fun and nostalgic experience. So if you do visit there, would you buy anything? I would love to know. I mean, I don't know if I would. I'm trying to save a bit of coins. <laughs> I wonder what they're selling. Like, I wonder if they're selling like old stuff like that you'd get like in the 90s or 80s. Yeah, stuff, it would be know? interesting. Like, what are Good they? Idea. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see. If you ha have a chance to check one out, let us know how you feel in the comment section because we want to hear from you. In the meantime, mean team. Mean team. Mean <laughs> in the meantime, guys. <laughs> meantime, uh, that's a wrap on News You Can Use. It's been a day. Uh, remember, if you have any news story, hit us up because uh, our producers want to hear from you. Yes. News at brandingonashow.com. And don't forget to check out the newest episode of The Beach Show, which will come out this Sunday. We promise you. We needed a break for Thanksgiving. Okay. Okay. Devin, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Producer Ever, always great to have you. Hi, guys. Yeah, we're happy you're here, too. And we love you for watching. <laughs> Bye. 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 Hey BG Squad, thanks so much for checking out our channel and listen to this, we have more great content for you like this video right here and this video right here. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to this channel right now and tap that notification bell.